Welcome back to the Amsterdam Radio Podcast for Creators. It is I, the mayor of Local Boys, and I'm actually having a cup of hot coffee because I love to have a little bit of a conversation with my guest. Friend of the show, the Centricity, has told me about a whole new kind of way of thinking about the metaverse that blew my mind. So, first things first, the Centricity, welcome back. Thank you, Flavo. Nice to see you back. Nice to be back. We were talking about what relationships, all different kinds of relationships, means in the metaverse space. Yeah, uh, this is this is sort of like uh, for a lot of people now, the metaverse is new, but the metaverse isn't new, and the metaverse is super old. Uh, the The term was like the term is old, uh, and mm-hmm. like the metaverses are old, older still. Um, they used to be called like cyberspace places, um, and uh, some of them were even. Like you know, text-based places where right now we would call them forums, but they yeah. call them cyberspace, and uh, that's sort of like uh, how everything started. I'm talking in particular about one metaverse that is called Second Life. And oh yeah, yeah, I remember that one. They're they're not uh, an NFT metaverse. They're not a crypto metaverse. Uh, I specialize in crypto and NFT, as you know. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's uh, but there's a bit lot of relationships in there that 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 uh, people who meet on Second Life, get married on Second Life, who uh, dumped their husbands for a pole dancer that she met in online game Second Life. But when it comes to like this kind of thing, where people meet each other on chat lines or, or Telegram or mm-hmm. Second Life, there is a little bit of a cynical person that says, hey, look, the reason why you're fighting people on these things is because you're being more yourself in these virtual spaces where you have right. an extra layer mm-hmm. barrier of not showing the world who you are on the outside. Is that accurate or am I just off my rock? It's, 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 it's amazing accurate. And you, I like that you mentioned Telegram, you mentioned the chat program. Uh, because those are by like a very wide definition that's a metaverse as well zoom is a metaverse this damn thing Streamyard is a metaverse hey. because it definitely originated from uh cyberspace i have a question what's the what's been the best i would say social interaction you had in a metaverse whether it be a date or an event or a friend date oh. like what was the best way a uh, best day to describe this for someone who's really concerts. concerts oh dude concerts yes so i i um, on crypto voxels and in Second Life, I've been in concerts uh, constantly, and yeah. you know, uh, uh, well, also like well, um, clubbing, I guess I don't know, okay. clubbing, this clubbing, this clubbing. I am making my own. Like this is something that you know, but like, I guess the audience doesn't know. I'm, I'm making my own metaverse, and this podcast isn't an ad for it. It's it's something that we're we're just making. It's a it's a it's more of a 2D metaverse, so. We're trying to make it like super. What's it called? Uh, it's called 2D verse. 2D verse, and this is what it looks like. So this is this is sort of the uh, the, the metaverse, um, and it's actually super big. Um, so if you click here, you can see that it's a whole island. So it's a and, huge like two D space, and anyone can live in any part in there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyone can live in any part. You can you can buy land, and uh, you can buy plots of land. I, I I love metaverses so much. I made my own. Um, like uh, the the thing about metaverses is that it's meant to be a social device. It's not a game. It's not meant to be a game. You can merge it with a game, like Sandbox Game does, but. The thing about the metaverse part is the social part. How we meet people, how we uh, 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 transcend reality by right. making it a reality. This, I, I reject your reality and I substitute <laughs> mine. But there's also people that say that we're doing this too much. There's people that say, hey, look, man, we don't need metaverses, we need parks. We need to walk outside. We need to say, hey, you want to be my friend? <laughs> like, I mean, is it is it either or, or can you have both? No, well, it's not either or. It's, it, it needs to be both, uh, which is another uh, part of this. Um, we, uh, we want to have sort of like bridges between physical and digital. And this is not something that is very high tech. It could be just a QR code or a link. Like you go to a real gallery in the real world in, uh, in your city and you just walk around and, oh, this, is, this gallery has a QR code that you scan. And on your phone, lo and behold, the metaverse shows up. A metaverse representation of the same gallery maybe with more detail, maybe with a lot more people. Within a few years, this is going to be how we do things. 
this is gonna be weird how we meet people. Um, we're we're gonna have metaverses as uh, the way to meet our co-workers and work together, and metaverses where we go clubbing together and meet new friends. And that's not gonna be like frowned upon. Key here: one metaverse can be multiple experience, can be online, can be 2D, can be 3D connected to everything and uh, it would be the replacement for the internet itself well yo, so, so these interesting thank you so much for being on the show i need to know if i want to follow you try out the development of, of your own metaverse how would i go about doing that i uh yeah just follow me on decentricity on twitter i'm also on instagram uh I, on the gram i uh, hey hey <laughs> you can find me on linkedin as i think is, is the persona that is on linkedin if you want to learn more about 2d verse that's 2dver.se. That's all. And that's the URL. Uh, we'll post updates there and we will soon be releasing a public beta uh, for you to try out. 